Spring is probably the best season for hiking in Scotland and as that weather begins to improve this makes for some fantastic days in the hills. But signs of winter can always linger throughout spring and sometimes even summer in Scotland. So join me in today's adventure as I take on another Monroe in slightly cooler conditions than I expected. Well, good morning guys. Welcome to another Mono Adventure today. A stunning start to the day with some fantastic views down to Loch Creeran behind me. So the walk today started from Grumviewick, I think it's called, just a few miles outside Appen. And I'm going to be doing just a single solitary Mono today. I'm hoping the views are going to be stunning at the top. I think they are out to sea and back into Glencoe. So I'll tell you a bit more about this route once I get a bit further up. So the first kilometre or so was on this well-made track, but things quickly start rising uphill from here. Okay, so I've made up the first minor bump of this Monroe. Now have a look at this. There's the Monroe in the distance. Now I'm expecting this, but there's a lot of lumps and bumps to get to that top. It's not as straightforward as it looks, but it's a fantastic day today. There's that view down the loch there. A fair bit of snow. That's into the Balahulish Monroes in the background there. And yeah. So I'm going to descend down here, up there, and I think there's a few lumps and bumps after that. So yeah, a lot of ascent for a single Monroe. That first descent was slightly awkward, the first descent of many towards this first Monroe. But I'll show you just now, you can just see it, it's barred by crags. So you've got to come over here, you can just see the path, and then down here. I think there is a little weakness in the middle, you could probably scramble down. But the grass in that's wet, so there's not much point risking that today. But yeah, as I say, I think this is going to be the first difficulty of many towards this first Monroe. What well, stunning views I've had this morning so far. That behind me, I think it must be a Corbett Creek Ven, I think it's called. Uh, it's over 800 metres. But yeah, this is a very similar day to one I had. It was actually my first Monroe this year. Finley's Peak, Ben Foynley, just next door to this. The views are very similar. And actually the conditions today are pretty similar too. I'll give you a quick look at that day some blue skies as well. So the terrain today has been a lot, little bit tougher, a nice steep pull up this, this hill so far, but yeah, I'm just enjoying the views. I can't believe the snow's still here, middle of April, but that's Scotland for you. We could have it until July. So anyway, let's crack on. The ascent from here was quite gradual and enjoyable up these grassy slopes, but it wasn't long before I was on the rocky top and I got my first glimpse 
of the top of the Monroe. Now then, that's me reached the first top of this Monroe. I think it's 860 meters, so quite high. And I think there's only about 90 meters to reach the top of the Monroe in the distance just over there. But there's actually a lot of up and downs, a lot of bumps. So I don't think the snow will be too much of a hindrance. There's actually less than the peaks around it. I think that's probably due to its location next to the sea. But yeah, time to make my way towards the top of this Monroe. As I mentioned, there's a few lumps and bumps to negotiate to get towards the top of this Monroe. I think there's nearly 1300 meters of ascent for this single Monroe, so nearly the same amount as Ben Nevis. Well, take a look at that, guys. The top of the Monroe, Monroe 244 for me. That is some sight, the slabby face just sloping off the side there. That is incredible. Rather intimidating from this angle, actually. But I'm hoping that this is my last bit of drop and back up to the summit. It'll be a fair pull up there. But yeah, that is some view. Now this was probably the most enjoyable part of this walk, making it up that ridge and those views in the background just opening up. And before long, I could see the summit cairn in the distance. I tell you what, that is a tough little Monroe. But there is the summit of my 244th Monroe. Ben Schoolish, this is known as. 937 meters high. It feels a lot higher than that with the ups and downs on the way here. I think it roughly translates to the hat-shaped hill, so I'm just gonna get some shelter up here. It's rather breezy. That's a little bit better just behind that cairn. Take a look behind me at these views. Spectacular. But as I said before, pretty much the same conditions as last time I was in this area. Maybe a little bit more snow actually. And this is April, not January, so not surprised in Scotland. But you can see to my left hand side is Ben Nevis, the annex into that direction. A fair dump of snow in Ben Nevis just now. To the other side is to the Balahulish Horseshoe. Fantastic.
There's just endless views up here, full 360 panoramic view and a number of Monroes. I'm not going to name every single one, but behind it is into one of my favourite areas in Scotland, Glencoe, with Bidian, the couple of the Buchels on show, and to the furthest right hand side of the picture you can probably see Creesh and into the Black Mount. Now it is cold up here. I'm going to maybe have some lunch. It's quite sheltered behind that cairn. I think I need sunglasses too. <laughs> the sun's just reflecting right off the snow. But yeah, what a day so far. This is why I love doing the Monroes in Scotland. We have some variety here. If you think my last two Monroes in the Cairn Gorms, rolling plateaus, 30 miles, not a ridge in sight from that area to this today. I mean, look at this. It's just incredible. I could spend all day up here. Some views out to sea. I think that's Loch Creeran in the distance down there. Back the way that I've got to go over all these bumps and that again. That biggie in the background there is Ben Kruikin. That's two Monroes that I've still got to do. And then, yeah, look at that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? What a special summit this is. Up there with some of the best views from any Monroe, I'd imagine. Now, I've been up here for around about an hour, so <laughs> I think I better start making my, my way back down as it's a long trudge over all these little ridges and bumps. So yeah, it's a good couple of hours at least to get back to my van. But yeah, what can I say? I've got no other words I can use that can describe this today. I love these sort of days, I've maybe said it before, when it's not full on snow, because that makes it difficult to walk in, but when the tops are covered like this, it's just perfect. And I dare say this is the last covering I'll get this year. So yeah, I'm making the most of it, that's for sure. So anyway, I better start making my way back down. Okay, that's me over the first few big bumps on my way back now. now <laughs> there's a big weather system of snow coming towards me. You can maybe just see that in the background there. A total contrast to what it's like behind me. But hopefully I get down before that reaches me. Anyway, I better give you my rating out of 10 for today and a bit of a, a review. So I'll give this 10 out of 10 all day long. No words I could use up there that would describe the views. Fantastic. It's actually one of my favourite views that I've got at the top of Monroe so far. Really, really enjoyed that. Same as the one next to it, this area is fantastic. Just views in every direction. But anyway, that wind's picking up, so I think I'm going to call it quits here and head back down pretty quickly. So thanks for watching today, and I hope you'll join me for some more Monroes.